Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Julia, and if you're clicking on this video, you are probably going to be taking your ARRT boards fairly soon. I am, I'm taking them in May. It is currently March 2020, and it is coming up very soon especially with all of the downtime that we're having with, with all of the covid stuff that is going on right now we don't have clinical or class basically for the next two weeks and then they're going to revisit it i do have a lot of downtime so i am going to be beginning to prepare for boards because i am going to be taking them within the next two months so these are just the tools i guess that i'm using to study for boards a lot of these books and websites i've been recommended to or i've found myself i'm not affiliated with any of them and i haven't even taken my art boards this is just what I am doing to prepare for them. Maybe in the future, if I pass my boards, I can do a video on what helped me or I can kind of reflect back on this video and see what did and what didn't help me. These are the books and the tools and everything that I have been recommended by actual radiologic technologists that I work with and my instructors. And then also I did go to the Assert 2020 conference in Las Vegas. And some of the meetings and conferences that we went to were actual instructors that teach in the course of radiology. So they also recommended some of these books to use for boards. If you guys are new to the field and you aren't in a program, this probably isn't the best video for you to start off on. But if you guys are interested in x-ray as a whole, I do have a video called Kind of on a lot of the frequently asked questions and kind of my first year in a glimpse video so i will link that down below a lot of people also ask me how i study how i take notes i've done a ton of videos on those and included them in a lot of like daily vlogs so i'll try to kind of link a few below that will be helpful for you guys and then i also have done a video on like my essentials for just school in general as well as clinical things that i like to have with me also, I did want to say that I feel like anything that you can possibly buy or utilize to help you prepare for boards is going to be beneficial in the end. Like a lot of the things you can possibly resell or just keep for future reference down the road, but I feel like it's an investment to help pass your boards and to not have to redo a program entirely over again. That would be awful. You get three chances to take your boards and you spend like 200 something dollars every single time. So I think putting time and energy and money and finding resources to help you study is beneficial, but that's just my opinion. I have a few things behind me here. <laughs> That are heavy so a lot of people ask what is your program is it a two-year program is it a four-year program i've addressed that in some of my videos but if you guys are new here i am in a two-year associates in applied science program so it's a 21 month straight program and it's clinical and didactic the 21 months are entirely clinical and coursework so i've been in clinical for my whole entire experience which i really really like because it kind of spreads everything out and allows you just to learn for those full almost two years. For those two years, I have taken all of my coursework and put it into a binder. So this is just a large binder that I got at Target. I did make this little registry prep paper and I just Googled the little skeleton and popped them on there. But I have all of my stuff that I have ever written pretty much in this binder. And then I've done little like clear protector pages for each class. So my procedures classes, my physics classes, all that good stuff. So all of my material is put into here. Do not throw anything away until you have taken your boards because you will likely need it to study or refer back to. Another thing that a lot of people don't necessarily know about being in this field, yes, you do have to pass your ARRT boards in order to practice as an x-ray tech, but you also need to take a CQR test every 10 years to reassure that you are maintaining your knowledge and keeping up to date with everything. Also, as technologists, you do have to keep up with continued education. So it's kind of similar to continued education if you guys have heard of that. CQR is kind of similar to CE. So that's one thing. Next are these flashcards. In my registry prep class, we do use the textbook and the workbook from this company. These are the flashcards. So I did buy these from Barnes and Noble. I think they were like roughly $39 after shipping. But one of my classmates actually told me about these and her and I were looking through them at clinical and I thought they would be really useful to study. So basically each card has multiple questions on it and then the answers are on the back for you to refer to. The next thing that I wanted to talk about is Rad Tech Bootcamp. So one of my classmates actually referenced this in class. So Rad Tech Bootcamp basically is a online platform that has a bunch of different practice tests that help you to study for boards. So another thing about Rad Tech Bootcamp is they have little articles like four steps for crushing the ARRT radiography exam. They have other little articles and resources to read over on there besides just 
tests and quizzes and stuff. The next thing that has been helpful in preparing for boards is the ASRT seal exams. So we actually are required to take these for my registry prep class. So we are required to have an ASRT student membership, which I believe is like $30 a year. I could be completely wrong. I'll put the information here, how much that membership is, but you get five practice tests and I'm unsure if you can take them multiple times, but we are required to take them for a grade in our registry prep class. And those questions have helped a lot just to kind of even recognize what the question format might look like on the test. The next thing I did mention in my essentials video, but it is the radiologist page on Instagram, but it has a lot of helpful resources to refer back to like bony anatomy and just the different like tuberosities and the names of them on different bones. So I did make note to go back through those and study those and refresh my memory on them because I'm sure they're likely to show up. <laughs> Lastly is a book that I have purchased and it's actually on its way from Amazon right now, but it is Mosby's comprehensive review of radiography. So William Calloway is the author of this textbook. He actually had a talk at the conference and he did recommend this book at the conference. So I wrote it down and purchased it and it's on its way. So I will absolutely update you guys in future college vlogs on how I'm using that and how I'm liking it and everything. And I'll kind of show you guys what it looks like, but I don't personally have it in my possession at the moment, but it's on its way. Those are the things that I have written down for what I'm using as of right now. And like I said, I haven't started studying, nor have I taken my board since I have not graduated yet. You have to graduate in order to take the boards. But I know a lot of you guys are graduating soon or will be graduating soon and are wanting to start preparing for boards. So I wanted to get this video out so you guys could start to purchase some items and start to study with me, I guess. Like I said, I will be doing more additional college vlogs and showing you guys more content. Be sure to reference the description box I will be linking a lot of different videos as well as the products that I've mentioned. I think that's everything that I wanted to talk about in this video. I'm wishing you guys the best of luck on your boards exams and hopefully crossing our fingers we will all be registered radiologic technologists by the end of this semester. I love you guys so much. I will see you guys in a new video very soon. Just